Okay, so let's continue right where we left off. And in this video, we're going to talk mostly just about uh, getting a variable value from the, uh, the URL, URL string here. So we're not going to really touch on the databases just yet, but this is somewhat essential. Uh, one thing you'll notice here is the um, URL for my pages, my WordPress pages is horrible. Let's go fix that real quick. Uh, so let's go over here to dashboard, scroll on down to our settings, permalinks, and this is set to plain. What we want is, generally speaking, that to be post name. So now if I were to go back to that same link, uh, you'll notice that it's just named after whatever the title was, which is test template, right? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a little question mark right here, and we can put in something like variable equals, I don't know, cartoonsmart.com, right? Something like that. Shameless plug. And and then spit that out uh, in down here, okay? And that's pretty much all we're going to take care of in this particular video. So if you already know how to do that, well, more power to you. And I'm looking at the wrong file, aren't I? There we go, testing. Okay, so let's uh, let's not worry about this, and let's do this. We'll say, and you know what? Let's not worry about that for right now either. In fact, I could just get rid of those. Okay, hopefully you're taking notes. All right, so what we're going to do is write uh, if is set, okay, and go ahead and just make it a little bit clearer. All right, so we've got our opening and closing parentheses, and then in these opening and closing ones, uh, we're going to check for, do your dollar sign, and then get, okay, and then let's just put in here variable. All right, so if that is set up, uh, then we're going to actually use this part of it right here. Remember, this is what I just put right over there, okay? All right, so, uh, and then you know what we should do? Let's do this. Let's say, let's just make a variable the variable equals all right so this is going to equal nothing for right now but if that's set then what we'll do is make it equal to this don't forget your semicolon at the end of it and boy are we moving right along um let's do this right i'm from and we'll leave that little space in there and then we'll just put in the variable okay so that's just gonna write i'm from and then whatever that uh, value in the url string was and let's save it and upload it and i still have this file in the worst possible place the desktop all right so i've replaced the testing.php file so when i flip back over here let's see what happens i'll reload this guy up and whoa i uh i, I, I hit reload but i forgot to actually type in here we go variable equals all right there we go so isn't that that's magic right there look at that so we're just taking that putting it on in here and uh we'll be doing some similar stuff uh with a different type of variable a post one uh or a different type of uh, way of getting uh, data from the basically just the, the well browser, the site, whatever you want to call it. But uh, this is obviously kind of out there for everybody to see, right? So if you sent this link to somebody, uh, you know, they, they would be able to, you know, go, hey, well, it looks like something to do with cartoonsmart.com. Uh, but there's other ways of um, basically sending data into your pages, and that would be uh, via the post method. And normally, if you're going to be working with databases and stuff like that, uh, if you're, let's say, creating a form, poll, whatever it is, uh, you're probably going to use uh, that other method. But there's there's reasons to uh, use this as well. Uh, so let's close down this. Look at this. I did it in under four minutes. Uh, and uh, and we'll, we'll come back with more. 